Hey guys, this is my presentation on my disruptive technology that Blue Apron brings to the table. Um, they are a meal service, uh, and basically their claim to fame is that they have this easy recipe card, these prepackaged ingredients so that you don't have to measure anything out. Um, everything's right there for you. You don't have to shop, don't have to do anything, and it's shipped directly to your door. It got started by Elia Pappas, Matt Salzberg, and Matt Wadiak. Um, Matt, or excuse me, Matt Salzberg and Elia Pappas were friends. Um, they had been looking into going into business together. They picked up Matt Wadiak later on, who was a food expert. Um, all of them had a passion about food, but they didn't like the hassle about cooking and picking up things from the grocery store and just all of that, just how expensive everything was and how time consuming it was. So they went out, they assembled this well-rounded team uh, to try and tackle this problem that was not being tackled by other businesses. These other businesses that were tackling these issues were restaurants and grocery stores. Restaurants like TGI Fridays and Applebee's are just too expensive. They're really lacking in quality and they're really lacking in healthy choices. A lot of these places that are at a similar price point as Blue Apron are just putting out heat and serve products. They're really not good for you. They're not all that great. And so Blue Apron really wanted to tackle those issues. On the grocery side of things, uh, they were really tacking, tackling the inconvenient, time-consuming nature of going to the grocery store. When you're just ordering meals, you're not looking up recipes, it comes straight to your door. Like That is saving you a ton of time over doing regular grocery shopping. Blue Apron's not perfect. Um, a lot of the criticism uh, about the company comes about their packaging waste. As you can see, this picture here, um, just a lot, a lot, a lot of plastic that they're using to have all these ingredients separated out. Um, another thing is a lot of people think it's pretty expensive for what it is. It is $10 per serving for a person. It can be a little cheaper if you do a family meal, uh, but it, you're basically paying these restaurant type prices to cook at home. That's a pretty niche market. Um, they also have these competitors. They have HelloFresh, they have Plated. There's a lot of people in this market and unfortunately for Blue Apron, Amazon just bought Whole Foods uh, or merged with Whole Foods a couple, couple months back, and they are also looking to get into this business. So it's very, very competitive. What does the future look like for Blue Apron? Um, it, it, these are things that they're going to need to do, especially considering that Amazon is now in direct competition with them. Uh, I put smarter advertising here because I, I had actually heard of Blue Apron before even doing this project. They advertise, their advertising budget is insane, and that is part of the reason why they bleed so much money. They are cutting back on advertising, but they need to figure out a way to get the word out without spending so much money. Uh, customer growth and retention. This is a problem that they're having is that they're having all these, they're getting people in for these free trials or getting people in for their one meal or uh, a month or whatever, but their customers really aren't growing. They're not. They're not ordering more, and they're also not being able to keep customers. Um, and then I also put they need to do some innovative pivots. the The way the market is, and with Amazon and Whole Foods partnering up to form that that superpower, they're really going to need to find other sort of niches to fill in the market. They're going to have to kind of alter. The product that they're giving otherwise they might find themselves uh an, an innovative startup but uh one that ultimately is not all that well remembered and here are my references for this project um and that's my presentation on blue apron